Wah, 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 we are comparing both the V847 and the GCB95 from Vox and Dunlop respectively. Alright, today we are running through my very own Epiphone Les Paul Custom Classic Everything stock, pickups and all Into a Yamaha THR100H We're gonna be doing three parts First up clean then we're gonna do like a mid overdrive kind of tones finally i'm gonna bump the gain up really high to see which was can actually accentuate the wah wow. The V847A has a input stage buffer built into it, the same with the GCB95, as opposed to the original design which were all true bypass. This one's made in China. The input and output jacks are mounted outside the PCB. The quality is still really great. The soldering is all very neat. One disadvantage I would say is if you were to use a battery with this wah, you will have to remove the whole base plate in order to reach the battery.
dialogue is made in USA. It's much more heavier. Input output jacks are mounted directly on the PCB. Um, battery is really easily changeable. There's actually a little cap where you can remove the battery. The rocker pedal in the Dunlop feels much more easy to rock back and forth as opposed to the Vox. It's a bit more difficult, it's a bit more stiffer in that sense. There's very really subtle differences between the two was if I had to say the Vox had a bit more of a mellow tone to it, it wasn't as piercing in the high end, and the toe down function is really nice and quacky. <laughs> The GCB95 was a bit more shrill in the high end, it got really sharp at the high end but some people might like that, especially when you're using high gain and you want to cut through maybe you would like something that's a bit more trebly Let us know what you think, which did you prefer? Could you tell the difference? Could you not tell the difference? For something with such a small price difference, I guess it's down to your preference and which one you like better, what looks better, what sounds better with your setup. <laughs>
more info about each of these pedals, I'm actually going to leave a couple of links in the description for the more technical info about the schematics of the pedals, the kind of inductors that are in it. And then if you want to buy the pedals online, you can check out www.musicblitz.com.my